Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Those are our cows. In this video, I want to share with you guys a plan that I have right now and I'm actually going to start the work today for building a temporary cow shelter on this farm for those cows. So many of you guys have followed my videos already and you know that I shared that we will have to build a cow um, stable for these cows and that we weren't able to do this this past year. And this Highland cattle breed, they can actually walk freely outside as long as they have some shelter like trees or bushes or even enough um, for wind and, and weather protection. And these cattle, they love being um, freely outside like that. but. I have several reasons for why I decided now to try to build a temporary cow stable or cow shelter even still for these last three months of winter that we have here. These are the reasons for it. <laughs> the first one is I'm going to do a controlled grazing this upcoming season. What that means is that the cows are going to be moved every day from a piece of pasture to the next piece and every area, every part of the pasture that they're on is only big enough that they will have enough grass on there for that one day. That's called controlled mob grazing. And this video I don't want to talk about all the pros of that and, and, and um, why we do that exactly. I just want to say that's what we're going to do. And right now they just walk freely over the fields. Now when this is going to get muddy, right now the ground is frozen, but when this is going to get muddy in the spring, they're going to destroy so much of this field. They're just going to break it up. Then once the grass starts growing, I am not able to choose when I want them to start grazing, but they will just freely walk all over the area and just start picking those little green grasses that are starting to grow already. I don't want that. Plus, I will have the manure and the, the whole worm load and everything spread out over the whole place. And that's also something that I don't want because uh, we start the mob grazing because we want to minimize that whole thing. So I want to be able to stay now they go out on pasture. The next big reason for this is that they drop, these cows together drop um, manure. And, and nitrogen and all of that. You have the organic matter that they drop and, and all the, the nitrogen, the phosphorus and all of that. What they drop is worth a few dollars every day. And like this, most of that just disappears. It's winter time, it runs off or it just disappears. And we want to capture that in a deep bedding. We will need lots of compost this upcoming season and all the seasons to come for our fields and for our garden. And so I have decided um, to build a shelter, put them in a deep bedding and then um, capture all the droppings in that deep bedding, compost that in the spring with our pigs and um, have compost like that. So. This is the plan and let me just show you real quick what I'll have to do and what I'll try to do. Um, we have a mild winter, not much of a winter anyhow, but it's still always around freezing so nothing grows. But I still want to put them in there because of those reasons and I want to show you what I'm going to do and because of wind and snow that might still come. I need to still figure out how I will do this uh, the right way, but let me show you. So this is the north end of our barn. This is facing north. We have our old bunny stable here. We have some boards that we mow. We have a, um, a machine for, our, uh, for, for making hay. We have some old fence posts here. I just want to move this away. And then this big tarp that we have from when I covered the hay trailer, I want to connect that to the wall up there and um, put that as a temporary roof over this shelter and then also make a little area out there so they can still walk freely but that the main droppings will end up here. So I will have to clean this up 
and put this up and, and try to make it strong enough that it can withstand some wind and some snow. I might have to push the snow down when it comes, but we will see about this. Um, if this winter continues the way it has, there won't be much snow. So um, I will just have to see if I'm able to get this stable enough to put a temporary cow shelter here. Here you have the tarp I want to use. It's four and a half by seven meters about, a little smaller. And then you have um, these gates, you remember that, that I want to use to to put them around, around this area for the cows. And then there should be a lot to get out a little bit, so it's a little more space there. And I talked to a local farmer. Hopefully we can buy some hay, uh, some straw from him. But otherwise I also want to do some wood chips and they have to be dry so they can capture all the urine and manure. But um, we will see. Now, the, um, the way we will do it is we will copy it, the Charles Salatin style. We've had our pigs um, already dig through a couple deep beddings that we have and they composted them a bunch. But how um, they do it at Polyface Farm is that they mix in corn that ferments in this oxygen free deep bedding because it gets so packed the oxygen dis oxygen disappears um, and it ferments in there and then the pigs come in in the spring and they want to try to find the corn and they just dig it all through and compost the whole deep bedding they grow and gain money instead of a machine costing money and needing oil changes and all of that so that's what we will try to do here um, you guys will be able to observe and see how that goes for us and um, the pigs loved it they just went nuts over it last year so we'll see what happens so that's the plan I will put um, water and food here and um, yeah just try to create an environment that will shelter the cows from some weather plus um, the, the roof, the tarp as the roof is especially important as um, the deep bedding cannot get wet because if it gets wet um, it, it loses its capability to suck up the urine and everything. Okay so we have cleaned this up. I won't be able to fit more into this video but there will be more coming when I built this. I still am doing some planning on paper on how this will turn out but I hope that you enjoyed this and you're excited for the process. And I will see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for your support and watching this video. Bye bye.